Okay, so I've addressed this question before, but I don't think I've ever made an actual video on it. So I'm gonna try to do that really quick. So when kiddos first come to us, we always address ourselves by our first names or by nicknames like Brie and Sai or whatever. So our first placement was 14 months old. She really didn't call us anything. And then we took in a sibling set of a boy and a girl and they ended up calling us Sai and Pretty. <laughs> The little girl called me pretty. I think it was because I used to always call her pretty, like, why well, your dress is so pretty, while well, you look so pretty. And we only had them for like a little over a week. But by the end, she called me pretty. <laughs> and then the boys is where it kind of gets a little fuzzy. We called ourselves Brie and Sai to each other and to them, but they were only one and a half and three months old. So after a while, the toddler just started calling my husband daddy and calling me mama. I asked the caseworker what I should do and she told me to let them do it because kiddos this age especially need stability and they need a mama and daddy. So we used to just tell him that he's just blessed to have two mommies and two daddies. But we always play it by ear and let the kiddos decide what to call them. How I get ready for our monthly caseworker visit. I normally try to schedule our caseworker visits around nap time so that the caseworker and I have plenty of time to talk and then I get the kiddo or kiddos up that she needs to see. So I start with getting myself ready and around because I'm normally in my pajamas and I just want to look a little more presentable. So I put on some real clothes and after I'm all ready, I head out and I start picking up the house. I pick up my house because I don't want her to think I'm a slob and I want it to look like I have my life together. And this caseworker is actually some of our old foster kiddos caseworkers. So we got them some gifts and she took them to their foster mom for them. So I wrapped those and then I realized that I was an hour early. Oops. And then I got baby girl up and fed and we talked with our caseworker. say goodbye to our foster kiddos. I start by packing all of their things in backpacks and Rubbermaid totes and here is all of her belongings. Then I wrote her dad a note and gave him our phone number so he always knows that he can contact us. I filled out baby girl's book and I put it right on top along with the note. She got one last bath so she gets to go all clean. Then my husband started taking her and all of her things out. I sat in the back seat and said my goodbyes and sang her one last song, and then she was gone. We went home and cleaned up and my husband took me for coffee and he took me to Olive Garden. Then we came home and watched some trash TV. Then I started cleaning all the baby things. Her corner of our room's empty now. Then I folded and put everything away so we can be ready for the next kiddo. <laughs> 